Yo, how we doing ladies and gentlemen? What is up today? Gonna to be picking up this project, the JME London Zombies project. And uh, yeah, gonna be making a working train system from scratch. Literally, we're gonna do absolutely everything. I haven't done anything of it yet, but I've got an idea in my mind of how it's gonna be done. And we're just gonna do it. And uh, yeah, gonna make it right now. I'm gonna tweak this camera placement though. It looks like it's a little bit too far across there. So, uh, yeah. There we go. How you doing today, everyone? You doing all right? I've been out on the motorbike today with uh, with Rama. It's been really cool. But it started raining a bit, so we thought we'd shoot back. So I came back. Yeah, but we're out for like an hour or so. It's really nice. Nice to get out on the bikes. But yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Ready for this. This is going to be awesome, man. So the idea is, yeah, in London, you've got metro stations, substations everywhere. And I uh, want to build it into the map. So that's what we're doing today. How are we doing, Simba? How are you doing, Reaction? How are you doing, Spyro? Welcome, guys. Hey, Spyro. What's, what a good name. Yeah, Spyro's awesome, man. I used to play uh, the old Spyro games. Yeah, Spyro was was it growing up. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna thread a new uh, train system and uh, and just start setting it up. So in this is a train system here. Hey, that's all good, Anto. Do we gotta do, my man? So here's the train system here. The head of the train crash. I want to add logic in that runs players over, and I want to add logic in that basically makes the train move. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just make, just make it move. You know, that's all I want to do. So the first thing I want to do is make it move. We're gonna have a function for moving it, have a function for the doors opening, closing. We'll have all the sounds, everything. So, to open up the map, and we need to just start building the uh, the skeleton of it. Right now, I'm just going to use any old mesh, and later on, I will change it to an actual metro train. So, right now, we'll just start with what we have. So, yeah, what I think I'll do is, um, uh, I'm going to type, or oh, just do train, actually. Train's probably all right. going to do get an array. I would appreciate that, man. No, no, no. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> yeah, do it, man. Do it. Hello. Hello, good morning. <laughs> How you doing? You're right. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, man. Are you presentable? Are you presentable? Could I get you on camera on the stream or or no? Nah? You're not feeling that. I don't have any webcam though. You don't have a webcam. How are we gonna do that? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm scared of webcam. Oh, okay. The government watching. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. That's cool. Um, yeah. yeah, no worries. Let's do this. So, um, you say make a vehicle asset. So, yeah. So, guys, to, to fill everyone in right now, um, Simbo here. We go way back. Good friends. We've worked together on all sorts of maps. And um, he's, yeah, he's a talented scripter um and talented all sorts actually but yeah so uh there is a the way that the tank is made in origins uses a, a vehicle entity it's just a sort of alien thing that i do not know how it works um i know zock looked into it before with the bus but and i think it's how transit's done as well but i yeah i it's alien to me and there's no tutorials on it that i know of so um it's very it's very easy. Okay, well, let's... So, the plan is, like, Simbo just hit me up and said that he would make it a vehicle. So, he's guiding us through right now. So, let's get some love for Simbo. Let's and, go. And, and don't open radium because the vehicle assets won't appear. Um, okay. If you got radium to open. So, you need to I think it's loading. But, yeah. Okay, so, new asset here. Uh, asset type vehicle there it is so it's just vehicle right and then 
Um, let's call it a metro train. Uh, I'll put a vehicle metro train. Cool. So I got yeah. a train asset here. There is a delay on the screen, but yeah. It's oh, I can share. Better. I'll share screen so you can. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. Discord sharing screen. How are we doing, Roscoe? Good to see you, man. Welcome. So the type change it to plane because it's easier. Okay. And so plane. There is no physics. If you want <laughs> a vehicle with physics, you you make it uh, a plane that has no physics in it. Oh, okay. So, uh, it's it's way easier like this, um, but you need your vehicle path to be really uh, strict. Power. Yeah, yeah. So Specific. The yeah. Model, yeah. The world model. You need to put your model of the train model you got. Okay. Let's have a look. See what train. It's even easier because we don't make any drivable vehicle here. It's just something that follow a path, and you can do that with any model. Okay. So I'm just going to pick one um, as a uh, as a placeholder, guys, and then I'll swap it out later on. I need to port in the actual train model. I think there's one on um, Modern Warfare 3 that I'm going to get. Um, but yeah. Oh, uh, there is one from... Um, uh, Shadows. I've got this one. Yeah, yeah, there is one from Shadow we got, but uh, the best one I've seen is the one in uh, World War Two, or I don't remember. Oh, it might be that. There's, um, there is. I've seen. Oh, where is it? Do you know what? I'm just going to go back to using that. Um, we'll just use yeah, this odd one. This one. Yeah, it's one. I Yeah. All right. So grab you. Go back to train. BBK. Yeah, well, then view model to be sure. I'm not, I'm not certain it's okay. Uh, We've done that. Uh, Timmy, we don't care. Uh, archetype, we don't care. Uh, if you get wheel uh, binded, we have some stuff, but we don't. Uh, yeah, here. So I think that's it. Now you can open radiant. It's okay. Easy. Oh man, that's a lot of work. That was that was tough. Yeah, yeah <laughs> we, we can. Uh, we should pause for a moment. Mm. See, um, well, I'll retire the stream here and come back next time. You know, we've done enough yeah. today. <laughs> I'll show you what model I want to get. Yeah, crack on. Uh, I was about to say that in Entity Browser, you, sh you should be able to see your new vehicle. You know. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just looking for um, where it is. I did find one. I think. I think it featured like so. Uh, London Call of Duty. I'm pretty damn sure that it's featured in uh, Modern Warfare Three. Is it? Anyway, yeah. Where's this here? Cool. Yeah, Modern Warfare Three here, and you got models of them so i think i'll be able to take it from this and uh yeah use that one that's it that's it that's the exact model we want right there so yeah, i gotta I'm load up that. mine the gap modern warfare 3 so i need to load that up i've installed modern warfare 3 and i've got it ready to go i've already ported all the assets from london docks um world war 2 they're ready to go um but I need to do, I need to get them from, yeah, Modern Warfare 3. Anyhow, yeah, that, that'll that probably be it. All right, so now we've got Radiant open. So, uh, um, first, because it's a plane. The only reason it's because it's a plane. So you need enough uh, volume surrounding okay. the map. Okay, so let's go and type in nav volume. So this is just anywhere where, it, where the... Uh, train will go or is this the yeah, whole you can make well. it you, you can surround the, the whole map with it it doesn't matter maybe okay. it takes a little bit more time to compile but it's like a few seconds um just just in case you're using that volume in the future if you change it the size of it or you cut it or you have multiple one you, you may any make any change to the nav volume 
you will need to go to share go uh, map zm and delete okay. your delete your nav volume in there to be okay. able, for the launcher to be able to recompile it nav volume recompile share raw did you say nav or uh, map maps oh maps yeah ZM. Uh, and, um, and in there somewhere you, you're gonna find your map name with nav volume in it, uh, name in it uh, okay and then and just delete you, it you delete it so we can recompile it's pretty weird it doesn't take into account yeah. the change you make if you don't delete it okay i'm just writing that down so i got that as a reference it's pretty annoying if you're using the wasps the parasites or anything that use uh, yeah so Can't imagine. all right man we got that down uh, yeah well guys uh, please smash that like if you haven't yet already uh okay so empty browser vehicle did you say and then here metro train is that yeah you should see it um then the origin is kind of fucked here the because yeah. they, uh, so you should change the model in my opinion with I change them. Uh, an or an origin that is at the bottom okay let me quickly find one in here uh train parser how are we doing parser welcome yeah i don't know about the origin okay maybe you can just yeah, make well, the big uh, just understand the concept of it and then you you raise the, the nodes or you lower them if it's needed uh yeah let's i use one. this one for now yeah yeah so change it in the vehicle asset and we will so i need to close um eight right now uh no, radiant i don't think, so. I, don't think okay. so I think it can can update it we will see in just a while Come on, radio. Flight textures, it probably just needs a few seconds and then it'll. Hopefully. Or not. Uh, it's stupid if that's the case. Uh, delete it and redrop it. No, what the heck? Oh, that's not. Ah, that's all right. Really. I'll just close it and I'll open it again. What's the name of these uh, Easter eggs? This is all game script, G uh, GSC. So, yeah, man, you gotta learn GSC. All right, there we go. Um, all right, we're good. I'm already looking forward for the two line of code you need. Um, ah, okay, nice. Uh, I'm gonna look it. Point later. So what do I put down? Origins or struts or like or script no, struts? Or... No, all you need to do uh, go go in entity info just to be sure I don't miss anything. Yeah. Uh, it's not a spawner. You need to give it a target name, of course. Enable spawner. No, no, it's not a spawner. It's not an AI or anything. Uh, just a target yeah. name. Uh, maybe uh, um, script disconnect path to, to check. And that's Great. about it. Just gonna pass. Okay. Uh, then uh, you need to go in entity browser. Yeah. Yeah. And look for node. Type node. Yeah. You will vehicle see node. Uh, vehicle node. Open the. Um, there is the rotates and the node. The, the usual avoidance. One. Yeah. The first. The first avoidance. I, I don't remember what it is, but node. You can drop it. Okay. Um, and you need to make it a start node. So in entity info, you will see there is a PVP for start node. Yeah, true. And you you need to give it the target name too. Okay, so uh, train node. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Uh, let me see if there is anything else in there. Do I have tutorials so on on scripting? Yeah, I got four tutorials or four or five tutorials on scripting, and also Simbo's done a whole load of scripting stuff tutorials as well um yeah just look on youtube type in black ops 3 scripting tutorial or um gsc learn gsc or something
Okay, yeah. there is there is two things I need to show you now. Um, yeah. And it, it's going to be pretty easy. First thing you need to do is have to, you, have, you need the 2D grid view. Yeah. Okay, now if you select the, the train first, yeah and then select the the node and you press yeah. w yeah uh okay that's you we can do that later but uh, that's that's good enough um now uh, I do you want me to probably... align the origins before i weld it no or... no no it, it will align with the start node anyway okay uh, you can even spawn the vehicle on the start node but let's do the easy way now um, yeah yeah uh, so if you go in entity browser now i suggest you use the um, uh, rotate nodes because it's more ambivalent. Uh, then you um, select, you orient it the, the other way. It depends on which way you want to go. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, it's a rotate node, so it's going to curve, uh, make a curve. Uh, yeah. You need to select the start node and then the blue node. World, yeah, okay. Yeah, and you you probably don't have something selected in the to, to the uh, grid view, no. um, uh, to be able to see the arrow. Um, let's see oh, yeah. part of the two D view. Yeah. Uh, there is maybe it's this yeah connection yeah it sounds great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now oh you nice. Move move it around. Oh, okay. Put the northern rotate node further away. And you can play with the setting and the KVP to, for example, the the look ahead. Then I just uh, well yeah, those. Like that. Move the one from the middle. You will see it curve. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now go in the animation grid view, uh, animation window. Sorry. In radio. animation window. Okay. Yeah. Select the vehicle. Maybe it's select the node. I don't. I don't remember. Train node. Um. Yeah. And play and play it. No, you need to select the vehicle first. Okay, select that. And then no, play. No, you need to select the vehicle. I think that's it. I don't remember exactly. And oh, yeah, it moved uh, for some reason. But um... oh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, I have no idea why it keeps going, but. Um... Yo. Stop at the last note, though. I don't know why it keeps going. That's Bye. pretty. That's pretty <laughs> weird. There is. A... Do I need to on the last node? Do I put need to put end node or something? No. Start node. You, no. You shouldn't be. Uh, it's maybe because it's a play. Uh, but if you if you for example make make something like a like a. Um, like a path that uh, comes back to the starting node and you okay. let them uh, yeah have fun doing it it's i think in my opinion it's amusing but uh, for some okay. reason it's not and you will see that there is this you can already uh, you can um, set up the speed in script or in directly on the node and also the look ahead um, allow you to KVP allow you to make it more. Um, yeah, Why is it? Too, uh... Yeah, because it's too close from each other. Okay. You can see it's it's a bit tricky at first, but and yeah, if yeah. You, but if you play with the look ahead um, option, you 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 can the look ahead. Yeah, there is a look ahead, look ahead or look ahead. Uh, here, I see it here. Yeah, in the KVP in the entity info, you see it. Okay, see. Oh, that just changes the power of it. Exactly. Okay, okay, so yeah. I didn't play a lot with this setting though, but uh, with yeah. looking at the thing, I know it exists. Okay, and then it's back to the start node world. Yeah. Okay. 
So the rotation might be a bit brutal if they are too close from each other. And you can change the speed directly uh, on the PDP. Okay, no well, less. Let's uh let's try it out though and see what happens. SFL reaction. Never seen vehicle parts. <laughs> it's drifting. <laughs> yeah, it's a plane. Uh, if you got physics, it's not able to do this. Or it's yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Vehicle parts, with, with vehicle parts, with vehicle it will do it. Uh, so it doesn't. Oh, it is rotating. Uh. And it stop at the starting node, but you can make it like a, in a while loop and it won't. Yeah, be. yeah. SFL reaction. Q Tokyo drift music. Yeah, Q Tokyo drift music, exactly. <laughs> yeah. If you want to go more uh, in depth with uh, vehicle pass and vehicle in general, then yeah. you talk to Warp Spider. He's very helpful when you uh, when you ask for help, and uh, he knows he's the guy who knows the most about uh, vehicle. So, how do you add collision to it and like doors and all oh, that? Okay. So you can add a call map. That's okay. the best one. It's to add a call map. And also, Safe and subscribe uh, collision, and so it collides against entity and stuff. Um, yeah. You, you have a lot of options, like uh, in the um, on the model itself, you can add the physics presets. Um, and, uh, and another option too, on the X model itself. Mm. Uh, and also, there is some setting if you use uh, some, an entity with um, a vehicle asset with physics. But I strongly recommend to not do it because uh, it's very sensitive. So when it, it uh... so the way the way I was going to set this up was I was actually going to set up a train and all the clips um, as a well as a well an array, and then it would just like move the array simultaneously. Yeah, and yeah, um, it's, it's like I was going to use uh, I was going to do. What I was going to do is I was going to take the array and then I was going to do a link to origin and then an enable link and then I was going to move the origin around like with the player well where it needs to go and then script the movement because uh, it's all pretty much like straightforward and like there's not much ah, okay there is no curve yeah. not really okay. I mean if I need to curve I can just like make it go forward and then make it rotate a tiny bit and then make it go like to the next place the move okay, to maybe Maybe vehicle is not what you want in that case, but I think it's pretty it's, useful it's, for you to know how it works. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering if, like, I'm going to hit too many walls with it because I need to be able to lock the doors. I need to be able to go back and forth between different places, um, be able to call it from one place to another when you're not there. Um, maybe have, okay. like, an update in, like, a scripted up, like, have it linking yeah. up on on here, showing when the next train's coming and stuff like that, you know. And I, yeah. I think it's entirely possible with uh, with this. With okay. too. Yeah, uh, I can show you the maybe three line maximum uh, of code you need. Base monster, Tracy Denodal Ice Grandi Mar Summon Skrito. If it finds it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the face is really is... bright. Yeah, I change it for the. What's it called? Cheese cube. Okay. Uh, I found it. So you need to get the node, uh, of course. Um, where is it? Uh, it's too complex for the thing. So I send it to you, right? Uh, so what you need is um... how you doing, everyone? You doing all right? 
Welcome to the stream. Get on this metro thing. Array or get vehicle node. Uh, it's working too. If you got only one node, uh, or if you got uh, an array of, of starting nodes, you can use this. Yeah. Uh, then what you need is. Uh, uh, to make the vehicle go uh, on the node itself. So there is a, there is a vehicle shared uh, uh, script, so you need the using for it. Uh, and then what you need to make it work is uh, to make it uh, follow the path. It's Local this. Baby. Hey, hey, Ice, how it going today? Uh, raw scripts. Select folder and then find a folder. Very cool. Okay. Uh, to know when the vehicle is done, for example, is so when the vehicle has done its path. Oh, that's the script from Sentinel, so it's there is so many stuff for nothing. Uh, yeah, going good. Local baby, how you doing, man? Welcome. Doing good, man. We're uh, scripting a, a working London Metro. Ah, okay. Hmm. You, you see the function I sent you? Uh, it's not thread, you know? They could go path. Yeah. So it means that um, it's going to wait till the path is done. So if you put this in a while loop, uh, it's going to pass uh, for, uh, forever. Okay. And uh, I took the node in array. It's an array of nodes there. But uh, you can just, it, the function get vehicle node exists without the array. Okay. So that's as simple as this. So that's how you make it go down a path. Yeah. Um, and then this is, let's get on path. Oh, it's it both just, of it. It just moves the, the vehicle asset, vehicle entity to the, to the starting mode. Okay. So, so I would probably, start. I'd probably name them destinations then. So like, um, if like destination is equal to like you know um maybe oxford street um then we want to do go on oxford uh mode all right so it goes to the oxford station maybe i don't know yeah the, the only the only thing you, uh you 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 might think it's useful for only one reason it's because you can make curve with it yeah no, i get you That's, i don't because, mind yeah yeah i don't mind like it being choppy if it's gonna be easier to code without being a vehicle but yeah so I'm trying to remember what map was it that had the crazy trains that was all a bit choppy, but it worked quite well. Um, but yeah, going to be nuts. Yeah, man, it's going to be good, local baby. Hyped. I hope you're doing good, phase. What is this? Intermittent. That looks pretty cool. You seen that new map? I gotta go. Uh, I hope it it was helpful. Uh, not even if it's not for this map, a particular map, but know that you can use a vehicle on and vehicle path for any model. Yeah. So, no, I'll um, I will look into this again, yeah. and and um, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's 
I can see it being helpful for a lot of other things. I think this particular thing will be easier because I'm going to do a lot of crazy scripting to get it working how I want. Yeah. And I, I don't yeah, know. Maybe, maybe I can just at the end, you know, I can replace my move to shit with like with this path vehicle path shit. So I might end up using it in the end, but I'm just going to get the basics sorted out with um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you can with your imagination find crazy stuff to do with uh, with vehicle paths, which even we without uh, using some vehicle in it, like a model that. And yeah. Crazy stuff and follow a path or whatever. Yeah, man. Appreciate you, dude. No Have worries. a good one. Yeah. See ya. Peace. Yeah, man. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I will. Um. Yeah. It's it's like, it's completely foreign territory to me i i see what simbo is saying with the um like the vehicle pass uh L reaction what a guy local baby so, just get it moving then play around with it yeah i want to code all the logic first and um learn like doing doing it this way might be a bit tricky so i'm just gonna code a stim a simple like mesh uh, and use move to and then when i'm you know when i'm happy with it we can swap the move to to like to using um a vehicle uh using a vehicle entity but yeah we won't use the vehicle entity right now only because, I mean, so there's going to be a couple of lines of code, but I don't know how you... swap between different start nodes and stuff, and there's just a lot of unknowns. I feel like if I started going down the route of uh, getting it all work with that, I'd, I'd, I'd get a bit lost with it, so... I'll um I'll leave it leave it for now but yeah I appreciate SFL reaction is that the train model that. you've decided to use No like I say this is just a temporary one Of course it's a temporary one we're going to use the London Metro train it's going to look like the one in in the in the thumbnail there yeah, This is temporary Okay. Okay. Reckon that's it there. SFL right. reaction. Oh, by the way, I got that lift zone thing working. Lift zone? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. Um, right, copy paste, go up to here, and um, okay, so I'm just going to clip this thing right now. Um, Uh, maybe there. Okay. Move from there to there. That looks good SFL to me. Reaction. You can't be that forgetful, can you? LOL. Yesterday I was asking in ZGC about activating zones that hey. aren't adjacent to other zones. For I've got, I, my, I, yeah, I haven't got a good memory, so, um, yeah, uh, the door, custom door, 
Yeah, I don't know what you were doing with it. I can't remember. Right. That works for me. Do this. Okay. That works. So I want to put that at the front as well. Maybe there. Right, that'll work. So I want to test the kill um, trigger as well. It's kind of work a bit like Warzone actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a trigger um, a trigger on it here. So a trigger multiple like this. And yeah, it's going to go like this. Boosh. Okay. And then just cover the whole front of it like this. Yeah, like that. Right, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to call this um, target name train um, kill. Oh yeah, I can call it whatever I want, but yeah. Right, I'm going to change the, the color of this because it's a moving object. So what, what haven't I used? Let's have a look. I made a neat train recently. I did the same thing. Oh, nice. Right, so I'm going to code all of this. And, um, I don't even need the model right now, but, I mean, it might be good just to leave it as it is. Um, I mean, I could, what I could do, I can bring that down to like here, right? And uh, with this guy, probably want to bring that in a bit. So, one, two, one of these, one, two, perfect. Just so I can see out the window, which might be quite nice. Um, Later on, yeah, they'll be completely closed. They're just a clip, a visible clip for now. So uh, what I need to do, create a door system on here as well. So boom, cut that there, boom. And I think we'll bring that yeah, like that. So that's the door. Um, I'm going to just break that down the middle. That works. That's not actually. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, what I want to do, I should probably make these a little bit thinner, so, so down like that. Actually, forget about the, the collision crap. Okay, so um, what I need to do is have everything target the node. Okay. So all of these, every single one of them. All right, I can just go like this. Wait, no, I can't. This guy here. Let's. Hello, my fellow people. How do you? Yeah, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have a target on here, and I'm gonna call this the uh, train node. 
Okay, I've already got a train node actually. Let me call it train. Um, just train full, maybe. Colin, how are you doing, Colin? You're right. I call it train full. Okay. So I mean, and then I just got a sticker, an origin note anywhere. Okay, it doesn't really matter where I put it. I put it there, whatever. Train full. Boom. Okay. I'm going to hide both of those. This guy needs to be a script model. And this needs to target the train full. Oh, so I'm going to hide that. And then all of this that's completely static can be part of one single entity. So we just go like this, brush model, boom. Okay, so they're actually, um, yeah, they're actually Colin part of the same thing. I right, there we go. Target name. Um, we're setting up a train at the moment. Train. Select the trigger and then the train and press control and L then select them again and press W. Link L control L was that a linking thing in 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 radiant. I'm just going to link it through script, but I don't know what control L does. Vasquez. Can't wait to play transit. Link entities. Yo, that's pretty cool. I know you could do it like that. Yeah, I've not done that. But um train clip. Yeah, it's in the selection tab at the top left. Yeah, I'm I'm just doing it through uh an origin. Currently working on making the transit bus hard. Oh, okay. Simbo just showed us how to use um, vehicles. So we got, like, we could we could do it this way. Um, but I'm just going to work with the way that I know right now. Um, and then later on, we might swap it out and use it this way. But I just want to set up the door logic right now. The destination, like, selection logic. And then the general like collision logic and, and whatnot. So we got it all ready to go if we do switch over to that. But right now, yeah, it's going to be very st straight like from place to place. So I don't think I need the vehicle logic. The vehicle logic makes, you know, really nice turns and corners and whatnot. But yeah. Oh, dude, Colin. You might be able to help me out, man. I've never worked with vehicle nodes, so um, I was just going to use move two. And then if I need to do any rotation, I'll just have like rotation over time with move two. So, um, yeah. Like, because if you... Um, it's just maths, isn't it? So if you want a train, okay, to go over here, okay, and end up here then that's just the, the y-axis, right? Well, if, forget that, okay? Forget forget. I even said that, but that's just a move to, okay? There's no rotation needed on the train because where it ends up is the same, okay? But say you want it to go... Um, say you want it to go like this, okay? You want it to go here and then like this. And then maybe like this, okay? So that's the path now. So here, it doesn't need to do any rotation. No rotation here. Um, and then here, it doesn't need to do any rotation. Okay, so that's none, zero. Okay, but what I can do is I can work out the difference in the angle between here. Um, you know, whatever the angle, that's the angle there, okay? And um, I can, I can basically time it between here and here, so that the rotation occurs from here to here. So the move to will do. It will do move to here, to here, to here, to here. 
but then I'll make it rotate start from here to here and then rotate start from here to here. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah, I was thinking of just doing it code because then I can just use like move to, you know, and then I can also just do rotate um, like your or whatever it is. And, and then I just need to time it. So I just need to work out what the what the time is in seconds between here and here okay say say that this x to x distance say that takes like what seven seconds that will probably be like yeah on the sixth second to the eighth second so that's two seconds long but yeah and then it will just look like it's it's doing the, the perfect like turns and everything so i'm doing the work rather than the 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 nodes but yeah the fact that it starts here and ends here will elude the player like it will just yeah it will just kind of look all right i don't know it's plan anyway right let's see how this goes hey how we doing man what's up welcome oh yeah by the way last night's stream Last night's stream is there. I just, uh, I edited it. So I've made it private right now. But when it's fully edited, I'll make it live again. So, um, yeah. If you look here, it, uh, it says processing. Like if you look here, it says processing, right? SD processing. So it's processing the standard one. So it's not finished processing yet. But when it is... I can uh, I can make it public again. So we got like a, a clean stream of, of like beating the map. But yeah, we did beat it last night. I didn't need to leave my channel. We beat it. We had a few like three or four runs at the start where it just didn't work, and then the fourth, third or fourth run, it we we smashed it. Yeah. Right. So what I need to do. I want to make it really advanced, okay? So we got, we have a trigger here, a multiple trigger here, okay? Where, um, if a player is in this zone, SFL reaction ordered some new headphones, tested it. Razor crookings, I believe. I'm gonna call this train door. Open target train to train fall. Okay, okay, what I need to do, um. Okay, I might need to just start coding it. And then we'll see where we get. All right. So this is all the, the fancy, fancy vehicle stuff. But yeah. All right, the train system. Uh, get an array. Um, I'm going to call it um, train. What do I even call this? Train clip. Clip. Okay. Target name. Okay. Um, it's a clip. I need it to move together though. So, what I need to do is find a enable link. Link to. Link to in the first one, then while the player is in that area, yeah. just wait server frame or wait zero point zero five. Yes, the plan reaction. I heard some good shit about Razor Crooked. Hope they last long. I'm using a, a Logitech. I went for a Logitech mouse. You all got new headphones yesterday. Ordered some yesterday. Nice. Why is it repeating it? 
Oh man, right. Um, link two. Yeah, why am I not using it there? Where are we using it? I think in my. Going good. How you doing, Steph? Welcome. There we go. I hope you're doing good, Steph. Steph and Alex. Space dive, legends. SFL reaction. Alright, slap this up here. Thank you. Yeah, they should be coming today. Uh, Had nice. And they're only now falling apart, so yeah. Oh, nice. Alright, so we got, um, I'm going to call this the, uh, the link, the, um, origin, the train origin is equal to the, um, What self? Wait, self. Let me go back to Shrek. Um, enable link to power up door. So let's just get the door. Link to link to rotation point. Rotation point gets the trigger right here. So yeah, we just want to do that. Do -do 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 -do. Right. So train oranges is actually, yeah. Equals get and train equals get and uh, train um, origin. Train full. Train full. Target name. I can't remember. Yeah, target name needs to be. Yeah. Okay. Tra target name like that. Awesome. Uh, what I want to do is I want to do train clip, enable link to, and um, link to the origin like that. Cool. So anything we want to link to the origin to move to the origin, we just attach it like that. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, script brush model on that one, on this guy, script brush model on that one. Okay. X, negative X. No, we need to move to. Okay. So, um, this is going to be the uh, train door. Okay. And that's also a train door. Train door. Okay. Nice. And they also want to grab some origins as well. So, I want to grab the origin of this. Which is zero, zero. Oh, man. Go here. So I need to just slap, slap that in the middle and then put it like there. Okay. And then what I can do is uh, I should probably put that in the middle of there as well. Put it like there, maybe. Um, yeah, I'll line, I'll line it up perfectly later on, but that's the train door and that needs to target that well. Okay. That needs to train to target that door done. Nice. Okay. So we've got the doors moving. Um, You're having nightmares again. Steph, that doesn't sound good. Sorry to hear that. Um, what is this? Sort of train door. Okay, so back here, I need to go like this. Do do do. Train door. Okay. And do door door. Okay. Train doors. And then um. What I'll do, just do function, train, door, move. And then we want to have a train, door, trigger equals get, n train, 
to trigger. I wish you didn't have to put target name. It was just like a default thing if you gave it one parameter. That would be very nice. The amount of times we're in target name. Sent you the clip on Discord. And uh, I'll check that out, man. Thank you. Right, so um, while one, um, if um, right here, what we'll do is uh, train door trigger wait till player no, wait till trigger by a player, and then what we'll do is we'll do move for each door so yeah with these doors we also want to do yeah can we do an I, can't, I don't know if we can link an array to an origin i might need to go through the array but we're going to find out anyway i'll leave it like that for now Right, so we're going to need access to the doors array. So I'm going to slap that in here. Okay. So I'm just going to put here thread train door move. Um, reaction. You have to do like foliage thing in the array, then link each thing. Do reaction YK. You have to do for each in the array. Can you not do a link to an array? Do you do you have to do it to each element in an array? Um, yeah, let me check my cheese cube because DVNG bullet ZZ. We shit was a KSI map. <laughs> hey, we could probably get KSI in as well. Get his voice. I mean, Jay, Jamie knows him, so he'll probably be up for that. Reaction. I don't believe you can link an array. Pretty sure you have to do it for each thing, yeah. SF All right. Reaction. Imagine a C map. Yeah, we're quite cool. Right, cheese cube. SSL reaction. Be nutty. Alright. Yeah, I think we do need to do each entity. It looks like it looks like I've broken it out for every entity. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, for each uh, clip in train clips, clips, clips. Okay. Um. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that. I should do it. All right. Uh, I'm going to slap this somewhere else for now because it's getting in the way. Okay. Right, so reaction in the door trigger. Maybe after it's triggered it should check if train is moving. Have a global variable for that. Yeah, man, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. You're uh you're writing the pages of my book. I'm on page one right now, writing my ass off. So yeah, dude. Definitely. That's all gonna happen. Um So, yeah. 
Uh, I'm going to turn Leslie off because it's mega distracting when I'm trying to use my brain. Uh, fuck, that is the wrong thing. Goodbye, Leslie. All right. Um, so we've got the trigger here. We've got the doors here. Triggers needed to hit it. The doors um, to move them. Um, yeah. Well, one. Uh, function. Move. Door. Okay. So, when you press the trigger, then for each door in uh, train doors, we want to do door move uh, door. Okay, like that. Boosh. Oh, we want to do thread. Thread, door, move, door. Thread. Yeah. I want a Gucci bag where I can store my sorrows in hot. I want a gold plate, my pines. I want to move. Okay. Uh, then we want to do self. You can give me every little bit of a 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 um, and then we want to do Just a little more than I can give you. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Not just my mama. I want to hit the ball out. I'm random, but that's all right. What we do want to do is change it to move doors. Yeah, move doors, I think. Okay, yeah. Train doors. Um, as an, as an array. Uh, yeah, we'll do... Thread. No, we don't want thread. Move. Doors. Like that. Cut that out. Slap that in here. Function. Move doors. Okay. Don't know if you can thread an array like that though. Um. Yeah. What I might need to do is just take this out and then just do move doors and slap it in here train doors okay so the reason i've separate like separate separate it out like this is so that this while waits for this to finish before it does anything else so um Uh, but there's no way to run. Uh, there's no way to run the concurrently. So asynchronous, asynchronous. Yeah, oh, dude, I don't know. <sighs> right, that's a fun problem. Never mind. Anyway, move the doors. So we got the doors. For each door and train doors, move door. Um, whatever. We're gonna work with seconds. It'll be fine. I'm, I'm getting two. I'm, I'm thinking like milliseconds of like issues at the moment, but we don't, it doesn't matter. It's fine. We'll just give like a little buffer, and it'll be fine. So. Um, yeah, what I can do is I can 
yeah, I can undo all of this and just leave it how it was because actually it's fine. We don't need to worry about it. Okay. So yeah, we've got the, uh, the train doors here and then when it's pressed for each door and train doors, it will thread move door. Okay, each door will save its original location it will then move uh, to the um, open position, which is actually the uh, the target of where it's pointing to. Okay, so we want to actually move to the open position origin, and we'll do it with. Uh, uh, one second and 0 0.5 seconds acceleration and 0 0.5 seconds deceleration so it will speed up and slow down i don't maybe uh put like 0 0.3 0 0.3 so it have acceleration acceleration and then deceleration that might be right i might need to play around with that but yeah so that moves that's good that's one second long so we want to one, wait one second cool that's fine. So ignore that. Here is where we put a weight of one second. Done. Okay. Because they're threaded. That's, That's fine. Um, what I can do is I can actually do 1.05. Gives it a little bit of a buffer for the doors. In case, you know, because when it goes fire, fire. That's one twentieth of a second difference. So giving it actually 0.5. Like giving it a twentieth of a second buffer should help any glitchiness how you doing arch you're right man welcome uh sounds i uh, i do it all myself most mostly aqt how you doing man you're right welcome to the stream guys yeah i'm pretty focused on this um i'm gonna move myself over here and flip as well because right there we go okay but yeah i hope you guys are doing good we can, we can close that down there don't need that also um close some of this crap down Do -do -do. let's close it down Do -do -do -do. close that down close this down just um cool um i probably don't need that either dark gun yeah right so uh we've got the doors opening we haven't got them closing yet um what i will do though is uh Um, yeah, wait a second, and then, um, we have a door status here, so door equals closed, okay, um, door open equals false, okay, um, and then right here we're going to do if door open is false so then we'll do this logic okay that way it's only going to be opening the door if the door's not open yet okay first thing it does is when you open the door it makes it true so that now the door is open okay so what we then do is we then have a check here. So once we've run through this, we then have a check and we go, okay, if the, um, um, if player, um, uh, I need the is touching um, logic now. So 
been a while since I used that. So let me use is touching there. Um, here. So grab you, slap it right there. For each player, if the player is touching, and then we need the trigger there, um, do nothing. So we actually want to do the negative of that. So player is not tight is not touching then um then we can do door open okay okay so door clear equals uh pulse okay true true if there's no one in the way of the door. Okay. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. So you have some zombies. Oh. Doesn't work. Um, yeah, it's probably to do the bones. Like the binds, you need separate eyes, I think, not just one eye. Or the other way around, I can't remember. So yeah, if the player's not touching the trigger, then... Uh... Uh, okay, we need a count, I think. Uh, touch, count, equals zero, okay. For each player, if player is touching the door trigger, count... Um, plus plus, okay. After, what I need to do, um, else, okay, so this is if the door's open right now. Yeah, stick that in there. Okay. So, if the door is, um, the door's not open. Door not open. Um, open the door. I'm gonna call it open the door. Okay, and then we want to do here. This is close the door, close the door. Okay, so, um, we, yeah, we have a count here. Is the touch count here, okay. So, for each player in get players, okay, for every player, are they touching the trigger? If they are, plus one, okay. Then we do, if touch count, is greater than zero, then we, no, no, equals zero, it's equals zero. If it's zero, then we can, uh, then we can close the door. So if nobody has actually, you know, if everyone's clear of the trigger, um, then we can close the door. So, for each player, da da da, plus, plus, plus. Right, so if touch count is zero, we want to close the door, all we have to do now is for each door, um, we do move, move door. Okay, but in this one we do open. Okay, so we just do true. We want to open it and then here we do false, okay? So on this function, we just do um, open here and then we're going to do uh, if open, okay, then we do 
open. Um, otherwise, else we are. No, we close that there. Else we are closing the door. So we're going to go back to the original location. Uh, which, in fact, is a. Uh, um, origin there. Drop self. Yeah, original location. Okay, so we don't need that because it's already an origin. Okay, cool. Because the origin changes after you, you lost me, so. How we doing? <laughs> code a secret album in there for 500 headshots. Yeah, I can do that, no problem. I've already got the code for that as well, to my uh, Halo map uh, for counting headshots. Like, you know in the old Halo, where you get like a couple kills, or then you go double kill, and then you get three kills, it goes triple kill. You get like, whatever it is, like seven or eight kills, and it goes, Kill tacular all that crap. So I coded that all in, so that depending on yeah, and it's like got a, a cooldown and count thing. So it it works pretty well. Halo fans really loved it. Um, people who like weren't like old time Halo fans found it really annoying. <laughs> but screw them, man! I made the Halo map for the people that like Halo, you know. So yeah, we could do something like 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 that though. So we use that logic. To, to count the, the headshots and if they got 500 then yeah you could have like you could even do like different things so you could have an album okay if you get 500 headshots that plays but say you get 500 headshots within 15 minutes then a different album plays you know so you get you unlock that that beautiful juicy extra like <laughs> the, the extra special one but yeah you can definitely do that How you doing, man? You're right. Cool. Added Colin. Yeah. Sky's the limit, man. Let me write that down there. Um, down here. Where am I adding that? So, da, 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 da. down here. Into our little list. Bah. Okay. Um, code of secret. Okay, yeah. That's our list of things. Okay, so um, closing the door for each player. Da, 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 uh, it works out if they're not touching it. If they're not touching it, then um, for each door and train doors, door move false. Perfect. All right, moves back. Done. Wicked. Um, also. Uh, we want to do um, touch count equals zero. So, yeah, touch count equals zero. I probably want, I want to stick that here. Um, so that that clears every time the loop goes around. Otherwise, I'm writing it right uh, twice for no reason. Okay, cool. Code a thousand pound PayPal transfer. The, hey, I'm gonna need your bank account details for that, because uh, yeah, I'll 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 be screwed. Like, <laughs> if only um, you know, I'd play it on repeat. <laughs> That's it. What do I do for a living, mate? When I need a bit of money, I just I just load up the map and I play for ten minutes done get paid you know that's not a bad amount six grand an hour i've i've been paid less <laughs> you know <laughs> that's not bad at all it's <laughs> at 48 grand a day chump change eh how you doing humphreys what's up welcome um, okay, so we've got the, the closing thing here. Wicked. Close the door. And then we want to have a wait here anyway. So wait. One second. Yeah. Okay. So. Logic going through. Da, 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 da. If it's open, it open. Okay, so we actually want to change this. 
if um, the touch count equals zero, yeah, we want to go here. So now it's actually closed. We can do door uh, open equals false because we just closed it. And then uh, door clear. Am I even using that anywhere? Door clear. No, I'm not using the clear thing. We don't need it either because it's all part of this touching thing. Yeah, this is the door clear logic anyway. Okay, cool. Wicked. Um, let's go. Are you on a call or something? All right, that's cool, man. That's cool. We're going to need to test that out. All right, so we've got the door opening and closing, which is cool. But let's make the thing actually move. So, um, got a train system here. That's good. All right. What I'll do, I'm going to stick a, uh, oh, I'm gonna, I need to code in the, the kill trigger as well. So, train kill, okay. So, let me do that. Train kill. And that is not an array. Okay. And then we want to do this. So, okay. Wicked. Wicked. Okay, so we've got the train origin here. What I'm going to do is... I'm just going to go like this for now. I'm just going to leave... Wait. Um, no, screw it. I'm going to put a button in, in here. Because YOLO. Right, Bob's actually going to... Yeah, Bob will be in here. Here. Right, there's Bob. Right, Bob is just the temporary trigger. To work this out, trigger use. You got an important role, my friend. Okay, train uh, start. Um, okay. Cool. Train start here. Train start set hint string uh, press and, uh, and uh, one to move the train. Okay. Cool. Also, no hint cursor. Cursor. So cursor hint. No, it's not that cursor. Yeah, it is. Right, wicked. Wicked. Train start. Uh, wait till uh, trigger by a player. Then we can move the train. So. Now you want to do train dot origin um, move to okay uh, delete. I want to want to do grab the train, copy paste, boosh, stick that over there. Change this to a script origin. And model, delete, save that. Um, actually, it's going to copy the origin, just delete. Uh, throw in a script origin for the origin, just paste, boom. Right, that's exactly where I want to move it. Target name, uh, station two, maybe. Just leave it like that's where I want it to move. Making uh, big moves on the first one. Okay. Don't think that trigger follows it, but we'll get back to that. Proper trains. Yeah. Yeah, I want to code in a proper train. Yeah. So, um, the I want to have the... I'm going to do the underground as well. So, we had to take a metro 
from this station, ride the fucking thing, go into a tunnel, pull up in the underground, hop off, have zombies jumping out of the walls from other parts of the like um, the, the metro line, and uh, yeah, like I'm I'm imagining like the you know the ticket people, um, train assistants being there, um, and then you'll be able to go up the stairs. Um, an es a working escalator would be sick, but I don't think I'll do that. I'll leave that for now. That's an idea, though. Go out of there, and there you go. You're in central London, you know, Piccadilly, whatever you want to call or, or maybe Oxford um, Street. Um, and then, yeah. I'm thinking, like, going Hamleys. So I was talking to Rama about this. How many floors are there in Hamleys? Like, five or six floors or something. We make, like, the, the base floor. We make the... Um, uh, the, there's a there's an underground a basement like a basement floor so you got the ground floor you got a base fl basement floor and you've also got like yeah like three or four floors above so I was gonna do like a broken elevator on the first or second floor so you can you, you can only go to the ground floor you can go down the floor and you can go up one floor and that's it so there's three three levels of Hamleys um, I know you got like the tech like you got um, so I think the first floor is like silly, clumsy stuff for like kids, like and then teddies and all that. I haven't been to Hamleys in years. And then the bottom floor is like Lego, isn't it? Like all Lego and board games. And then the sec, I don't have no idea what the first floor is. But yeah, I wanna. So I, some of it will be broken. But yeah, Hamleys. So whatever stations next to Hamleys will do like kind of like that one. But yeah. Um. That's the plan. So, yeah, I, I, this is me explaining how I'm going to get rotation logic working earlier. Um, okay, so yeah, right here, this is your uh, meridian um, meridian walk, and uh, and this is yeah, you got your your tower block, you got your park, you got your meridian walk, and then train station here, and. Over here, we got like central London. How big we make central London, like the playable area, is it could be anything. But the idea is that we can, uh, yeah, make a make an area here where the train physically goes there, um, and then outside here will be like I'm thinking Hamleys, and then opposite Hamleys, I'm pretty sure there's a Nike store. Um, and then I'm thinking like, maybe like we'll do like a Nando's, you know, um, or yeah. And then what else, what else, what else is stereotypical? Like in that West or something, you know, I don't know why everything I picked starts with an N. Okay. That was just random, but yeah, HSBC, HSBC. Okay. Cause I know you, you're HSBC cause your lyrics Look at my HSBC. Yeah. Oh, we could put that into into the into an Easter egg. Find your JME's lost his HSBC um, key. Okay, his USB key. So we you've 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 asked us if we can kindly go to HSBC, and they've made you a, a new key that you can <laughs> log into your bank account with. And so we're picking it up for you. You're giving us verification, so we just need to go there. And maybe like we go there, we don't get it. The guy's just like, nah, mate, nah, I can't, nah, nah, I can't do that, man. We only, I can only give it to Jamie. You're, you're not Jamie, okay? You're, and then it will print out whatever their name is, you know? What sort of a scumbag name is that? You know, you could rinse the person playing, or, or, or not. And then maybe you gotta like take him out back, beat the shit out of no. him. <laughs> do him a cheeky, like, under the table like thing like okay here you go here's two 200 large okay 300 th well three grand you know three thousand points and he goes all right here you go and gives you the thing you get the package and you got to make it back to uh jamie's house to deliver his hsbc key oh baby why you've got it is actually a weapon so uh 
you can hit people with. <laughs> what would that even look like, man? I don't even know. Be like, be like, like this, wouldn't it? Just <laughs> going around, and this is your weapon, like this. <laughs> Taking our selfies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm getting a bit out of control here. What about this as a weapon? Call it the Swiss. Call it the level one knife, okay. The baby shank. <laughs> That'd be quite cool. Insta kill. <laughs> yeah, with the with the key, yeah man. Definitely. But yeah, that's the plan. So Hamley's Nike Nando's HSBC and then it'd literally just be like um yeah, a crossroad street, maybe a couple other things, and then like part of an underground uh train like train station. So yeah. I mean visually it will have all the aspects of London in, so I'm gonna try and slap in the London eye somewhere, it's having Tower Bridge and then yeah, I'll see what what happens. I don't know how like one to one will make it, like how realistic, but London's fucking massive, <laughs> so we can't. I just want to ramble the best bits of London in like into into the map. If we make it realistic, it won't be good because it's too big. That's what she said. Um, yeah. So we just we we'll use it as inspiration. Right, Google Earth is loading up right now, and it is, it is, it's dying on me. Come on, Google. Oh, this fucking man. It is! We're not building this! I'll be here forever! I'll be here for, f I'll be here forever, okay? I'll be here forever, okay? It, it's not happening. The other thing is, all the, um, all the, like, famous places in London are, are spread apart. You got the shard, okay? We'll stick the shard there. We'll do that. We'll do the shard. Um, we could even have a shard souvenir weapon. Literally, because London's full of blood. All the side streets are full of little, like, souvenir things. And all the corner shops, souvenir um, sales. So, and of course, you're going to have, like, a little shard and a little telephone box and a little bloody you're gonna have your tea okay because everyone in england drinks tea everyone in, in england drinks tea they got it drip fed okay that's all we drink we don't drink water fucking stereotype don't forget the crumpets oh my god the first the first map i ever made was based in london and i had the crumpet gun there's a plate of crumpets and you fired crumpets at zombies is i the, the weapon was called the english crumpet that was my favourite part on that map, actually. But yeah, so we'll put London Eye in, because everyone who goes to London goes on the London Eye and realise that they've made a huge mistake when they're stuck there for an hour and they need a slash and, and they can't leave. They're done, okay? Maybe you need to go for a number two. You're screwed, okay? There's no toilets. They're not going to speed it up. You're screwed. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, don't, I haven't had that problem, but I can imagine it, though, because it takes an hour to go around it. And I mean, it's great, okay? It is great having a look at everything in London. But for me, it got... It just all became the same after, like, five minutes. So maybe when about here. Okay, when you're at the top, it's cool. Because you're like, oh, we're at the top. But all of this time here... Meh, okay. This bit here... Oh, okay. We, yeah. It's, it's overrated, okay? Overrated. <laughs> but it's cool, though. It's cool, but it's overrated. I mean, I did want to get, hmm, we got Big Ben here, oh, that is a shame, why have they modelled Big Ben in Google Earth with all the bloody scaffolding over it, are you kidding me, that is an iconic place, and they've just, they've got all the scaffolding over it, isn't it, yeah, why wouldn't you model it like how it is, that's just ridiculous, Whatever. Whatever, man. Hide it up. Okay, yeah. 
the Westminster uh, Westminster Parliament, like House of Parliament. I I would like to build that in there. Cause it's been like that for years. Is it? Has it? I don't I don't go look at the clock. I mean I got I got a watch, so <laughs> it served its purpose for me. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Okay. No, it's uh, <laughs> I know it was like that, but is it still? It's not still like that, is it? <laughs> London's iconic national timepiece except yeah it's just completely hidden to everyone um anyway yeah um sidetrack houses of parliament slap that next to the london eye okay and then i was thinking we'll get tower bridge okay um maybe maybe uh the tower of london i was originally going to make the tower of london uh, into part of a zombies map but i never i never did in the end i'll show you what i did okay as a zombies map my first ever zombies map and you can play it right now it's on ugx you can download it for call of duty world at war um it has a a, a train line that goes underground here okay that direction um and let me just get a custom pen here so i had a train line going like that uh and then you take a path coming out up here onto the surface and then you've got this bit of road and you've got tower bridge like this okay and then you can actually go up tower bridge you can actually go across that walkway there's rooms in here and you can go back through here i actually made this bit broken as well but yeah and that was a map it was a i originally planned to have like all of this as part of it as well and you can go into talon never happened okay focused on college at the time so yeah that became the map and uh that was literally it. That's the playing. Uh, okay, no, that's not even. That's not there. But that's the playable area. Is literally like that. It was just Tower Bridge. That's why the map is London Tower Bridge. But yeah, I designed uh, all of these buildings. I pretty much, yeah, made. I made everything myself. But yeah, Tower Bridge is another place we could put in. Um, Rama said you we've got to put the cheese grater in. Is this the cheese grater? The sky this one here, Sky Garden. I think that's cheese grater. Yeah. Bloody melting cars and all that. But yeah, the gherkin as well. Stick the gherkin in there somewhere. Yeah, so they're the main ones I'm thinking. Shard. Cheese Grater, Tower London, Gherkin, um, London Eye, Westminster, Westminster uh, House of Parliament. Um, do you know what Rama really wants in the map? Rama wants to see the National History Museum. Where, where even is the National History Museum? I don't know. Can't find it. But yeah, um, she really wants to see that in there because she wants a freaking dinosaur like skeleton. <laughs> I reckon people would quite like a bit of Hyde Park as well. But yeah. So, where is Hamley's? There, there, what? That's not it. No, don't don't give me that crap. Where is the one in? Is it Oxford? On to it. That seems about sounds about right. Build a bear there. This one here. That's the one. All right. So this is a sort of location. Hey, May for real. How we doing? Oh Jesus. We were going to go there today. By the way. But then it was like thunder, warning of thunder and and like loads of rain and shit. So I was just, nah, we'll go next week. Maybe. So yeah. I think we go there next week. I wonder what tr like tube stations there are. Right? Oh, there's one here. No, that's not. Uh,
This is why you were skating the other day. No. You hate how beer 3 is still £40? Exactly. They're making good money on it and they're not going to fix it. But yeah. Right, train. Yeah, it's a bit far away, that one there. Piccadilly. Oh, do you know what? This is actually, this is a, a map in Modern Warfare. I wonder how much of this I could rip from Modern Warfare and stick it. Like, we could do that. It's, it's one of the most hated maps, though, from Modern Warfare, multiplayer. I personally like it. You know, my unpopular, unpopular opinion is it's pretty good. Look, this is a huge fuck you to the Romans here. We're building a curvy road. <laughs> Fucking... That's pretty cool, man. No straight roads. Okay, well, no, there's a fucking lot of straight road there. Probably the straightest section in London. Next to the bendy section. You quite like it? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's just most people don't like it. Yeah, we could do Piccadilly. I mean, it might be quite, like, quite cool for people that, you know, they've played Modern Warfare... And they've ran past all of these different... I think you can go down there, but you can't go in. But to be able to actually go into the station that's underground, like, that might blow people's minds as well. Because they'll be like, oh my god, it's this map from Modern Warfare. You know, I hate this map. <laughs> oh, I love this map. But wait, you can take a train from here? What? Mic drop? Yeah. Because that would be quite cool. And then... That's a fucking huge TV, isn't it? We could we could record some video footage or something and have that playing on the big screen. Music video? Question mark. But yeah. Right, enough moping about. Let's crack on. So there's a lot of this that I haven't set up yet. Forget that. Let's station two, okay? Wait, is it gonna open another radiant? Don't be doing that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Move two, and then here we need to do a. Da, 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 da. Station two. Okay, move to station two dot origin. And then how long? Uh, whatever, seven seconds. Uh, one second to get up to speed. No, three seconds to get up to speed. And three seconds to decelerate. Sounds about right. Cool. I might move that over there because it'll be a bit, bit, bit cooler to have it actually not be a two second ride. 15 seconds, maybe, or 20 seconds. Okay, we'll try that out. Um, let's, uh, let's test it, see what's broken, what works, all the good stuff. My theory is that it's going to not work. <laughs> we'll see. I know the train should work. Train origin. Train origin is uh yeah. I mean it should be cool. Link two should be set up. The only thing we haven't got we haven't got the kill and oh, we have got the kill trigger linked up. Okay. Um thread uh, what we'll do here, train kill, thread, 
uh, train kill system. Boom. Right, so I'm gonna make this. This is basically, it will kill you if you. If you walk in front of the train, it's gonna run you over and kill you. So, um, let's do damage. Have I not got to do damage? Okay. I'm gonna go steal it from Cheese Cube. Here, player, do damage. Okay. Train kill system. Uh, while one, I guess, what we'll do is uh, self wait till it is triggered by a player. Then what we'll do is for each player, if two people walk into it at the same time, it's going to behave weirdly unless we do a check on every player. So for each player in get players, um, we want to do uh, if player is touching um, self. <laughs> if they're touching that trigger, um, do damage and we'll just do 800. So they're definitely gonna die. Yeah. Boom. And then we want to have a weight. So just a weight, zero point, no, weight one. Cool. So done. Yeah, players die when they're touching themselves in in this code. Now that it's cause <laughs> it's cause the kill trigger is is threaded on this function, so it becomes self. So self is the kill trigger. So if the player is touching the kill trigger, it does damage to them. So yeah, that's done. Yeah, let's wait for that. So the kill trigger is set up. And yeah, the kill trigger is here and it moves with the train now. So if you step in front of that, you're, you're screwed. Oh, and to test that, we're going to want to... Um, we're not going to lock the doors yet, but we don't want the train to move straight away because we want to be able to trigger the train and then run outside and run in front of it. So what we'll do is with the train system here... Wait till, okay, and they're gonna have a wait here. Uh, wait five, okay, so I'm just gonna do I print line bold, and then I'll just do five. Um, okay, da, 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 da. five, four, three, two, one. Okay, wait one. Like that. Five, four, three, two, one. Move train. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's all good, man. As long as I've got some sort of idea of what I'm doing, then it's all good. But yeah, so this is a temporary mesh. We'll change that out with something else later on. Um, we're just testing the collision movement, doors opening and closing, which we can replace with actual doors later on automatic doors that open and close as um yeah basically if you are in front of this door it will open and then when you go in if you're standing in front of the door it will stay open but if you walk away from it it will then close so the door is smart enough to look for for people near it like it's like having your shopping shopping center like sensors on doors is automatic doors you know which might be quite nice. Um, the doors move to those points, which means that I don't need to think about orientation. And also, we're on a moving fucking train. And if I start moving stuff on the Y and the train's at some weird angle, it's going to fuck up because it might be going like away from the train, not, not sliding in, okay? So if I have the position where it's going as a point that's static to the rest of the train um it will always go to the same place like it's going to go to there and then it goes back to its origin so it'll go like this 
Um, and then this one here will do the same. That one will open like that. We can even include train door sounds. I've actually got a door sound I made. I'm wondering, would the train sound that I made, the, not train sound, the door sound that I made, did I, um, where's the million quiz one, there we go, door, where's the door sound, when I lose, burst, give me this shit, where is this door sound? First clapping, intro, lose. Have I not got a door sound here? Door, door close. Yeah. That's not the right door sound. That one there, that sounds about right. Oh, dude, I freaking merged all the sounds into one. Okay. I mean, it's a, it will make our own sound for that. I could use that temporarily, though. Could use that temporarily, but yeah, we'll leave it for now. Right. So, are you... Are you kidding me? I don't care about this, the light. Let's just build this thing. Oh yeah, so you guys haven't seen this. Um, I started messing around with uh, a little bit of de detail to just get a vibe for what we can make these houses look like. Um, it sort of sounds, right? I'll let you know what I need when I need it. One thing that would be quite cool um, to have right now is to have a few different, like, layers for, uh, like, sound layers to test out this dynamic soundscape thing. But, uh, yeah. Let me get to that. I also have been playing with uh, FL Studio. No idea what I'm doing, but I think it's about to crash. No. Oh, we're compiling. We'll close that down for a minute. So I guess you make your own patterns here. We call this like a uh, loop to uh, like a baseline or something. So they have a baseline and then you have like, um, oh, okay. I was playing around with um, Sakura earlier. This is mad. It's be some. You make some crazy electronic like synth sounds with this. There's so many buttons on here. Um, I just ended up messing around with all of them. 
Oh, you can see a visual like representation of what it's doing, like dampening the strings. Yeah, I don't know what any of this does. Yeah. So I was playing around with these, but I got to get to grips with what all of these do, I think. And I'll figure out what I want to make first. But it could be really good for a lot of different sounds. Um, I haven't played with Boo Bass. What's Boo Bass? Oh, it's like a bass guitar. Okay. What we got here? Mini synth. Yeah, that's 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 ear rate right there. Got that one. <laughs> I can't save or do anything. Jester, appreciate it, man. But yeah, I don't know what any of these plugins do. So wouldn't even know where to begin with that one. Direct wave synth classic. No, sorry about that. Guy's probably raging right now. I shouldn't do this while I'm live. I should not do this while I'm live. It's what it sounds like when you're at a car meet and someone's in their car with all their door, like doors and windows closed. music here that we're listening to it's interesting um try and think how it's like composed in terms of all these different instruments and like loops it's been a long time since i've been messing around with it like any music production software what's this do that's pretty cool so weird how you can just draw on like what is this in it it's like an equalizer but I don't really get it the amplitude how the strength of it strength over time that's <laughs> suck it <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Kami. Hey, I was talking about. <laughs> fucking. I was talking about, you know, some nice, nice cars. I used to go to one, though. <laughs> Not talking. I used to go <laughs> to an actual car meet where uh, people would drive like lunatics. 
It's great, man. It's great. There's, um, yeah, I don't think I can, like, say it because I want to name bomb it but or dox it but there's there's a car meet where yeah they were literally every single week like outside tesla um everyone was doing donuts and drifts and stuff it got out of hand like once someone almost like ran everyone over like i i i was close i had to jump <laughs> um it's not even a car show it's an unofficial meet where people you know just mess about in cars but yeah the police oh dude this one time this guy was like he was doing donuts in a bmw going around in circles and uh and and then he yeah finished off the donut with a drift and then everyone t looked looked up and there's the police had just turned up and just seen like just clocked the whole thing and everyone's just like oh no <laughs> And the guy just got out of his car, took the keys, went over to the officer, handed him the keys. <laughs> and the officer, I think, I don't know what they said, but they told him to get back in his car and just move it somewhere so they can have a word or something. But yeah, someone told me as well while I was there that that guy had just, just had his other car crushed for drifting. And he's out like drifting like a, a day or a week later or something. Yeah. Savage, man. But yeah, people like showing off this, like sound system and stuff like that. I I don't know. I, I can appreciate a good sound system, but I don't get the whole showing off like side of it. Does it sound good? Great. Awesome. <laughs> I'm happy for you. That's all I... I like a good sound in a, in a car, but like, I don't, I don't feel like I need to show it to everyone. I mean, if it's someone's passion and they've put all their money and effort and time into like building something really cool and that's what they do, then fair enough. But it's not my passion. Like, so I can just appreciate it, but yeah, whether you got a freaking 900 watt sub or, or 3000 watts split into like multiple amps like bridged into multiple amps is up i don't give a shit okay if it sounds all right it's good it's good to me i don't <laughs> i don't care i don't care but yeah and maybe it's my age man i mean when i was a kid like when i was 18 17 18 i used to install um subwoofers to all my mates you know they, they wanted me to hook them up so fucking easy just needed a power line a fuse, a power line, and um, a constant line, and then like your left and right audio, and that's it, done. Good drag tracks have hundred cars. Yeah, that's another. That's another good way to do it. Probes. Um, yeah, I've got an issue at the moment with the. Uh, the light in here. LED. Oh, I need to go open that up and have a look. It shouldn't matter though. Bad probe. Okay. Yeah, I'll just delete the probes right now. Uh, probe. But yeah. Boom. Where are you? So. Be those for now. Wicked. You used to have a 4,000 watt amp. Three twelves, too much power, death. Yeah, I can't remember what we, we used, but we had this um, titanium speaker thing. I don't know had a custom box in it. It literally it was <laughs> bowling around on a Nissan Micra. There's this much clearance between the, the wall of like the boot and the speaker. It literally just fit into the boot. It filled the entire space. Um, and that was setting off like car alarms and everything. That was mad, but yeah. 
I haven't even got a subwoofer in, in my car. I think, well, I've got a subwoofer, but it's a stock one. Yeah, it's built in. I'm not, I'm, I can't be bothered to, to put in a sub. The problem with installing a sub is I never bloody mounted the thing in properly in all the cars I put it in. So you end up like, it ends up just rocking about like when you're fucking around in the car and disconnecting like it might be a it might be a day it might be a month you know you might even go three or four months but on the fourth fifth month it disconnects and you got you got to go in the back of your car and rewire well, not rewire it but secure the wires back down and prop it back up again unless you literally like screw the fucking thing to the floor it's going to be moving around so i just yeah gave up with it can't be bothered with that shit Sounds alright in my car, so it's good enough. Alright, yeah, I might need to recompile that. That's a shit. Right, while it's compiling, I uh, compiling I should continue with this. I do want to start setting up the, the music layer like system, so function sound I'm gonna sound system that's a good enough name for me so where to even begin um re uh, so what I need to do is have triggers covering areas and for each trigger it will come back with a uh, do I even want? I don't even need triggers. Triggers could be one way of doing it. They have new mag magnet subwoofer so box now. Oh, really? A magnet one? So it just sticks. Well, no car. Like some cars have like the upholstery and shit, so it won't have metal in. Or it won't be near. But yeah, that sounds cool though. Local baby. And D Knight, that's pretty mad. Yash, how we doing? Welcome. But yeah, have a good one, mate. Enjoy your uh, mad lads and then it's <laughs> literally. Yeah, I was really uh really into my drum bass, like We used to um yeah, we used to DJ quite a lot of different events. Not like when I say events, not events, like big events, but um, a lot of parties, like little field raves and stuff. So, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. I can't be bothered with all that shit though now. have a plate you put down oh, that sounds cool hey you're not going to convince me to buy a subwoofer man i don't need that i don't use my car enough like i need a i need a car to be able to to to, to do everything but i don't use it enough to be spending more money on it blow the windows <laughs> I can think of one that's like that. Yeah, I I don't get why people go that loud, like the jackhammer loud on cars. It's ridiculous. You just, you know, you're compensating for something, overcompensating for something. Like, mate, I get it. You got loudspeakers. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know. It is pretty funny, though. Like, it is pretty funny. The... The videos where the girl's hair is all like up and up in the air and just floating around because it's so loud, like it turns into like a cloud of hair. That's hilarious, but like it's a gimmick, really. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Unless your intention is to piss off everyone in a five-mile radius, then um, I don't know why you'd need it. All right, we're good. We're good. Right, we're going to test this out. Let's do it. Oh, 
Colin. If you're still here, Colin, um, I am not clicking your link. No offense. I don't click links that I don't know. Like, I don't know metal TV. If you've got a YouTube link, then I'll check it out. But yeah, um, you won't convince me. I don't, I don't, I don't stray away from what I know. Okay. And that's how I managed to get by without any virus or issue on this PC. Is I just don't click any links. Every email, I don't even open emails, you know, unless I know what the fucking email is. So, yeah. I only go to like, you probably name every website I go to on those fingers, okay? Because you just need to look at an image for someone to be completely into a computer and have full access to everything you've ever like done. So, yeah, I don't click on websites, I don't know. But thanks. Yeah, re-upload it to YouTube, man. I need to change this uh, splash screen here as well. Yo, also, by the way... Noah playing Viking Tower. My god, dude. What a freaking legend. Like, um, he gave me one of the coolest shout outs ever at the start of the stream. So, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Not that no one's going to see this, but yeah, dude. Appreciate that. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers who don't even say who made the map. And uh, like a lot of YouTubers who, who don't even put a link to the map in the description. Well, not only that, Noah put a link in the description, but it's also, like, so freaking nice and kind, so... I appreciate it. Right. Here goes nothing, man. Here goes nothing, but... Alright, fuck you. You piece of shit. Alright, here it goes. Are we, are we gonna get hit by this train? Are we gonna die? Oh, shit. We died! We fuck. We die. <laughs> it works. It works. Let's go. I did. I forgot to attach the freaking. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. To... I forgot to attach the fucking train to it. But yeah, no. So Noah played this map, like the actual Viking Tower map, like yesterday or the day before. And he was doing so bloody well, okay, like clutching it up like a madman. Like lost all his perks like three or four times, had me on the edge of my seat. And um, yeah, at, and then just lost it two doors away from the top. And the top is a bit more chilled, you know. Like the top is a VIP. When you get up there, you know it's calm and you, you can you chill out, put your feet up, open that Dom Perrier and have a, a few glasses of it. Because you're done, okay? But yeah. But no, he died right at the top. And not only that, he had quick revive, but he... Uh, he oh, fucking hell. He fucking... He shot the ground and killed himself. Like, that is savage. That's why I don't shoot in the last few seconds. That is why I don't shoot in the last few seconds. Oh, I forgot to make it a moving, moving platform. So it's gonna it's going to push me back. Yeah, it's going to push me back. But that's all right. That's all right. We'll get pushed by it. See you later, suckers. It's also clipping into the ground. And it's going down. And it's like the Titanic. What else is it like? What well, I'm trying to think. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. When Jack is fucking on the boat. And he's just like, he just crashes it into the water. And just like walks onto land. That's what that reminds me of. Well, he arrived at the station. So, it's not wrong, okay? It works. It's just a bit fucking low. <laughs> Why is it so low? <laughs> it's a bit... What? Come on, man. It works, though. It works. Just... Yeah. Okay. Oh. Fuck you looking at Right. I don't want to even moving. Okay, so we have to go back to the wheel with this one. 
and uh hello okay don't know what just happened there but whatever right so uh oh shit okay i know what i know exactly what happened there so we got this origin here that is the origin that it's going to be that i need to change so we just go over here go from here to here and go like that boom beautiful okay uh, that's probably good enough i need to change the name of this though station two okay so now that will go to the right place uh also it was bobbing around and all that so what i need to do is probably make this clip a little bit higher so it's like a bloody hover train so it's not like glitching into stuff also this train here what is this train full target name this is the train clip is it train clip what would i call that train clip train clip that'll do that'll do that's fine so we can run that again and see where we're at also the uh doors didn't work so what the doors called uh train door trigger train door trigger so let's go over and have a look at the train door trigger and um train door logic have i even threaded the train door logic yes i have all right music back on let's go Do you know what? Actually, I'll get no. Okay, train door trigger. Ah, you slag. Right, that. No, it's not that. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I found it. Oh, right. Wild one. Door open, false. True. Hmm. Aha! Right, get you. Slap that there. Perfect. Right, that should do. I'll do don't air. Wicked. Yeah. Um, let's just go crazy with the eye print bold. Um, train. Door. Logic. Start. Okay. So. Open the bloody doors. Close the clip. Flipping doors. Right, that will work. Uh, right, enough of this multi language thing. English. Whenever you compile a map for the workshop, you got to go to edit options and put all languages that way your spanish friends portuguese friends will be able to play the map because if you don't do that they're going to an error and it'll be like they won't be able to play the map however whenever you do that the linking process goes through every single language to link the sounds so because you can set up sound different sounds for different like languages so testing you don't need any of that shit so you just put it to english and it speeds up the the link times but i always just i always end up leaving it on bloody all and just i'll just keep myself busy with something else while it's compiling because you, you don't want to forget putting it back to all when you actually publish them out but fuck it we're back to english now right sound system um yeah so we could just have a we could use the zones so um i think 
I think we could use the zones. Yeah, let me have a look right here. All right, find it folder. So, zone. Let me just get yeah, zone. In zone. Hmm. If I can just use the zones, I don't need to make anything additional. What zones we got? Is is there is in zone or is there like touching zone? What is it touching zone? Is touching. Yeah, it's touching level zone. Uh, okay, there's something else. Zone trigger. It's touching the zone trigger. That might be the way to do it, to be honest. So, in the map, we'll have these zones. Um, we'll have these zones for each different area. So, we'll have a, uh, a park zone. And then we'll have, like, a meridian zone. And then the zombies will know where you are so it will only spawn zombies in meridian walk when you're there you're not going to have zombies spawning over at london eye if you're over here so locational relativity we can use these zones for spawning but we can also use them to manage the whole sound system however testing it with zones is going to be a bloody nightmare because I have to set up so many zones. So in the meantime, we can test it uh, with some triggers. That should be an easier way of doing it. So uh, let's go with this here. And uh, I'm going to set up some, some floor tiles here to help test this. So Yeah, so there's one sound tile. There's another, another, and another there. Okay, so if I, I just make those I think the wrong bloody color. There we go, perfect. So I know they're different zones. I could just walk between each one to to test this out. Right, B trigger multiple. Slap that in there. And okay. Let me do it like this, okay? So these are all gonna be a sound zone, okay? And they're all gonna have a script string attached to them. Okay, but this one is gonna be um, zone one, okay? I'm just gonna put one there. This one here is gonna be zone two. Okay, these will equate to like different areas. So you start off, I'm just thinking on a small scale because obviously you don't have to just walk everywhere to test it, but. As you're stepping on these tiles, it should start playing a different beat. So here we'll have the bass. Maybe we'll have bass on all of them because the bass is good. And then we have a cat, 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 or you do have like some different treble stuff, trebly stuff here. It's different trebly stuff here. Maybe have some, yeah. Maybe you have like the lyrics on all of them, but you have a uh, yeah, different thing going on. So. What we want to do is play looped music for all of these. So sound zone, sound zone, sound zone, sound zone. What we want to do is have a looping thread here. So while one, um, we want to do uh, wait. Um, okay, and here's the tricky part. We're gonna have to decide how long a bar is. Jamie, are you here? Have you got time to, to work with this? The sound logic? So I'd, I'd love to start setting this up like if you're around. If you're around and you're not busy streaming or, you know, you're up for it, then, uh, yeah, I, I could get information like how long a bar would be or how long two or four bars would be. Um, and then also how we could also have like sets so you could have like 16 bars put in a set and then we just switch between different sets. You're always here. 
Okay, so when it comes to, uh, do you want to jump in a call? Are you good, good to jump in a call? All right, let me go. Let me go over here. So, right here, um, right. So this is a bar, like this whole thing right here. This is a bar, my. So it's sixteen different actions. But what I'm thinking is right is um how long is the time from here exactly so wait how long is that wait one point eight seconds one point eight seconds You probably have your beat per minute. What what beat what uh like beat per minute do you work with? BPM. It's quite fast. I need to know. <laughs> like what be, what's a good BPM to work with? Probably like I can I can work with uh one forty. Okay. Is that an all round two seconds then? No, wait. No, because it's faster. It's 1.7 seconds. So it's 1.7 second per. Um, dude, why is this so difficult? Yeah, 1.7 or 1.71. 1 .1. Fuck, right. That might be an issue. We do 1.7 for now, 1.7 seconds. So this loops every 1.7 seconds, okay? Um, and then what we wanna do is um, we'll have a system. So how we, what's the best way of coding this? There's like, there's a million different ways you can code something. And I also wanna code it in the way that's the most performant and optimized. So I think what we'll do is uh we'll have a um play so we'll have an array set up here so this will be like in a music array system so and then in here we'll have like the names of all the different tracks for the one tracks um and then yeah i mean uh, we could have like a multi-index array for this so so multi-level dimensional array we're just gonna keep it sim simple right now, really simple. So uh, Audacity um, probably want to just like, I don't know, is this working right now? Is this working right now? All right, so that works and um, yo, okay, so um, one, one, actually, do you know what? Fuck this. Let me just let me just download a tune from here real quick. Uh what what is this over here? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got this tune. It's gonna be a bit loud probably, guys, so warning. But, um, yeah. Right. So, let's just say that that... So, yeah. I think that is a bar. Right there. That's a bar. Yeah, so, so what I want to do is just take that export selected audio and I want to put that into sound assets and then let's do a new one, BBK. And then I'm going to call this uh, bar one, okay? And, oh God, wav, yeah, save. Um, okay, so we've got bar one done. 
bar one done. And da, 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 right there. We need to get the next bar, which I think will be that. So hopefully it sounds a little bit different. Let's have a listen to this one. It looks the fucking same, but. It's too, it's too bloody similar. Right, we need to get one that's um, that's different. So, right, you, I choose you. Right, what do you sound like? Right, and then this is the first one. Sounds too bloody similar. Give me something flavorful. Right, let's go further into the song. Let's grab this. It'd be so much easier if I just had like fresh bars to work with. Not like this polluted heavy layer shit. Okay, so we got this one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that's got different instrument layers in it. Okay, so we've got two different bars. This is a good start, okay? This is a good start. They're slightly different lengths, so we'll get rid of that. And also, they're completely different timing. So, that just throws everything out the window. But don't worry about it. This will work just fine. Export selected audio. Let me set that up as bar two. Save. Bob's your uncle. And all that good stuff, right. So, sound, BBK. And I want to do length here, and yeah, okay, same length, perfect, good, good, no, all right, save, uh, this, where is the sound zone, so we need to go sound zone config, and then in here, we got the map BBK, so we want to go to map BBK, which is not here, let's open it up, map BBK, there you are, and then in here, I want to do uh, any single one of these. Collect, collect, you are good. So I'm just going to slap you right there. And I'm going to call this bar 1k, bbk, bar 1. Copy that, piece that there. Do you a 3D sound? Yes, you are. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, got a bar 2, bar 2. Part two, done. Okay, hundred. Okay, you wanna make sure you can hear this thing. Actually, it is kind of optimized in terms of its peak, so I think it'll be fine. Right, got bar one, bar two, done. Um, now we want to use them, so we want to do um, if. Uh, okay. So we want to actually probably do some the the configuration outside of the loop so that the loop doesn't have to do more than just playing the tracks. Okay. So um but and the reason yeah, so having a separate thread for managing what tracks played um will, will should lighten up the uh the loop and keep it fresher to, to that it's more optimized because if you have this the loop that that plays the beat like that 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 and it changes to that 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 and it so if you uh, had like the logic where it's checking where a player is and then finding out where it is and then grabbing the right song and then sticking that in in the same loop that logic is going to slow down in the loop and it'll be that, 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 and like there'll be a break. It might be so minute, but it'll fuck it. It'll, it will, you'll be noticeable in music because the, you know, every milliseconds, um, well, I, you got some leeway, but that will definitely make a difference. So what I've just said is probably confused every, everyone, but don't worry about it. So this is the, uh, sound uh, system uh, selector. 
Okay, and then this sound system selector uh, will keep updating what different soundbar is going to be played and and how advanced this get, gets, we can change later on. So we might have it change stuff based on timing and based on, um, yeah, all sorts of things. And then we'll have like a music cue system as well. So, you know, we don't want songs to overlap and stuff like, or bars to overlap. So let's just keep this simple right now prove it works and then we can start expanding on it but yeah right now we just want to pick um right now we just want to pick the simple stuff so exactly brat 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 may we need that's what we're doing how do you look as welcome All right sound system selector so here we've got a level dot um okay level level dot uh song um okay bar two play equals by default bar one okay bar one is the one okay then we have the play sound at position and we have no we don't want to do that bar one okay where is the position later on i'll just do play sound actually mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do, we'll just do it here. All right, struts. Not you. Okay. Sound. Place. Okay. So, sound place. Uh, sound place equals get n. Um, sound place. No. Place. Is a target name. Cool. So we want to play it sound place. Oh, origin. Perfect. Right. Now, um, I could do the whole duration shit, but yeah, do we want to do that logic? I don't know how much weight that's got in it. Okay. Um, play sound with with notify. Oh, dude, come on. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if a notify thing is going to be too um, too heavy. Sound on notify. Sound done. I mean, we could, yeah, we could skip that out and do the whole sound of notify shit. So... Um, okay. Um, we don't need to play it on an object though. So just go like that. And that one's going to be that. Okay. Okay. Bar to play. I think you can play 3D sounds as 2D. Um, but yeah. Oh, nice one, Bear. I've got a new hard drive sitting here. I need to stick this in. This is for redundancy. So I bought another. This is five terabytes. Um, I got one of these in my PC right now. Um, and I just thought that I'll stick another one in and then set it up as like a software shadow copy. So if one of them dies, then I don't lose any data. Um, but I haven't put it in yet. I need to stick it in. That's what she said. Right. Uh, duh, duh, duh. what am I doing? Sound done, sound done, done. Okay. So that's good. That will just keep playing bar one. So the magic happens when we can take the bar to play. And, um, yeah so we're just gonna do a while i'm gonna at the moment i'll just make it change based on actually yeah we want to set this up sound zone sound zone sound zone sound zone okay sound zone okay so um we want to do for each um zone in sound zone we want to do a uh zone thread uh, sound uh, switch like that gotta be a separate function because um 
yeah, they need to trigger asynchronously, not in sequence. So uh, equals get an array, and then sound zone, and then uh, target name. So there we go. Wicked. Let me play some beats. All right. Okay, cool. So function uh, sound switch. Cool. Yeah, while well, one. Um, uh, um, self wait till uh, trigger by a player then level dot bar to play equals and right now what we'll do is we'll pass in the self script string okay later on we'll use the script string to query an array to find out which one to play because it will change depending on the time so yeah and then we'll use this also to have layers as well so not just have one bar it will have like some layers but yeah to be super dynamic super mad right so that should be cool i mean now i just need to set up this these ones need to be bar one okay and these ones need to be bar two okay wicked oh and then i just want to do like a weight 0 0.2 baby yeah actually we don't want to update that often one okay we don't want to we don't want to like freaking overload the system every single 0.5 no every single 20th of a second that we add to this it optimizes it so The longer you can leave it before it has to update again, the more efficient the map is. But the less quickly it will switch to dynamic zones, which doesn't matter. So, I mean, I'll leave it as one right now, but later we can switch that to like five. I like to make things as optimized as possible. So usually I'll put that to like five or six seconds rather than the amount of people that leave things running like every server frame. If you end up having so much stuff happening every server frame, it, it makes it choppy and can actually fuck with your game entirely. So don't don't do that the only thing that's going to be server frame is the music loop itself okay because that's a global variable this is good this is good this is good and uh we are in business that was it fucking magical sound system is made that's what it took now we're gonna make it a lot smarter later on but yeah man it's ridiculous how much shit you can do with just like a few little loops okay um i'm gonna do a quick build and i'll be right back so you i'll see you guys in a minute um yeah we're gonna test this sound out we're gonna test the train out it's gonna be good i'll see you guys in a minute or less
in my hair pc we search the web got to make sure we fed or else she gonna be fed we do take out instead don't know what got us here strength to stop and they stare oh yeah we well aware that they be hella scared trying to hold my composure never pose like no poser always stand like a soldier every day we get older that's that weight off my shoulder the return of the solar never oh we got an error of course, we got a fucking error. Three oh five. Hmm. Sound empty. Bruh. What is the What's the problem? Wait till. Self, self. Zombie, self. Self. Or. Self. Self. Okay, we just need to change it. Oh, let me go back to the screen. This, it doesn't like this. So, self it is. Sound system. Right, there we go. Let's try that out. Right, sound system is not threaded. So what we're gonna do is, uh, okay, sound switch is threaded, but selector, it's not threaded. So I need to do, yeah, let's grab you. Thread. Sound system, thread. Yeah, done. Look it. Yeah, I don't like put. I like keeping things with a single uh, main thread, and then where they got like child things, then thread them within the f function, like that. Cool. I feel like I should get at least three different bars so we can really switch this up. Yeah. Right. Shush. Here. Get loud. Okay, let's go in, let's sort that out. Uh, chop that off the end, go to the home, chop that off to there. Da -da 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 -da. That'll do like that. Okay, file, export, selected audio, bar three. Done. Okay, beautiful. Clo Actually, no, 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 no. Oh, bollocks, let's make it cancel. Never mind. Hey, wait, why are you in the hospital? You're right, ATB. You're struggling with getting zombies on and off the moon platform. Got any suggestions? Um, yeah, they don't like that. I don't, I don't know. Uh, one of them is like, I should have done this first, is go over here. Moving platform enabled 
select that changes it completely like uh the other thing would be make sure you got like ramped edges for zombies like give them a wet like give them a, a clip ai that has um yeah a clip ai that's got um yeah joint gun no we never did somebody doesn't want to give it away so we don't have it fortunately a bar one bar three and then they're both bar two so they're color coded color coordinated awesome okay um i think we are good to test that so i'm just going to build there awesome Yeah, why, why, what's going on? Work accident. Oh, man. Sucks. Colin as well. Um, you, uh, did you send it on YouTube? Oh, there we go. This is Colin's, Colin's, uh, transit bus remade in Black Ops 3. Yo. Colin, man, that is awesome. Yeah, the turn is a bit fucked, but hey, it was fucked. It didn't look right in transit, so. Actually, do you know what? That corner there. It just, it needs a bit of lag, doesn't it? Like the the chassis needs a bit of lag, but it doesn't. It just, it's like this. Like real cars, they have like a lag. Like you move the base and then the chassis catches up like and they got like a bit of wobble to them there's no wobble in zombies everything's just like freaking solid like moving on rails but yeah it should be alright on a train okay because trains are a bit more solid oh what's this this guy's live everything's just like freaking solid like and everything's rails, solid that's what she yeah. said we were right on a train, okay, because trains are a bit more solid. So let's talk about trains. The hell's that? So subscribe if you can. Looks like a legend. No, I might be able to do that. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know what that would be called. Hey, Steph, what's going on? Welcome. All right, it's done. Let's go check it out. Get rid of free loops. No, I need to buy fruity loops. It's uh, it's quite a lot though. Producer, hundred and fifty-three pounds. More advanced plugins. So there's a um. Compare editions here. Yeah. Black dot means it's got it. So there's a lot of stuff out here. Oh, this doesn't have these basings. That video player. Doesn't have Secura. But I'm not making electronic music, so. Dance music, so. Don't really need that. Yeah. Drum I don't really know what plugins I want to use. I kind of want to have a play with the uh, the free thing and just see what I would want before I buy it. But yeah. I don't know. Let's give it a try out. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Am I tripping? Okay. What didn't I do? First of all, let's do an I print bold um, change 
uh, two, and then we'll do plus, and then we're going to put in, yeah, the new one. Boom. Okay. What I need to do is um, play some music. So sound will notify us, a level bar to play, sound done. But where is it playing? Sound place, sound place. Okay. Um, um, play, I say wait, no, I print bold, play, no, playing sound. And then what we want to do is put in the sound that is playing right there. Boom. And save that. Also need to go to the map here and add in a third bar because we've got three bars like that. These are also 3D sounds. So what I only want to do to, for the sake of testing is just grab that wav there and stick that there. Bang. There and that one there. So, boom. Save. And that's correct. Sound asset. BBK. BBK. That is good. We are good. Let's do it. Let's rebuild that sound. Um, that one there. Sound place. Oh, that's sound place. Sound place. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That should be all right. Level bar to play bar one. Painting, you, you don't remember painting. You don't remember painting. It's so confused seeing it this morning at your desk. Really? That's crazy. Steph, like, I've never... I've never not remembered like a night out. I got a friend that's like that though, that just, I think most people are like that though. They have a lot of alcohol and you don't remember. I honestly, I don't know what that's like. Like I'll, um, doesn't matter how much I drink or how much I've drank in the past. Like, I'll get completely shit faced and have like a ridiculous amount. You know, be absolutely out of my mind. I'll still wake up, remember everything. You know, remember everyone I spoke to, things, what we said, everything. But uh, yeah, my friends would just be like, "Oh, don't remember that. Don't remember that. Don't remember that." You know. It's a blessing and a curse because then you wake up and you're like, oh my God, why did I say that? Oh no. Oh, what are they going to think? Oh no. Because <laughs> you, you, you do different stuff when you've had a lot of alcohol. But, but yeah, I mean, I don't I don't get shit faced anymore. How are we doing? Eight. Hey, uh, yo, what's up? Uh, your name is confusing me. It's Adam, man. Adam. I adds TV. What's up, dude? <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Do you know what you want? Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you send it on? This. This one. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> Rama has been a busy. Busy B, she's de-weeded our whole allotment. Oh my god! Oh, I'm paying for dinner. Oh my god! That's our strawberry patch right there. Um, wait, let me get it on the big screen so you guys can see. But yes, Ram has been a busy bee. 
So these are our strawberries over here. Yeah. Little strawberry there. And um Yeah, these are the things we're growing at the moment. That fucking uh oh. A slug or something's eaten that entire plant that's been growing. Here's our rhubarb. Lots of that growing. But yeah, these are like broccoli. We've got carrots here. We've got a tomato plant here. Um, all over the place. And then what else have we done? This one here. Completely de-weeded. We've got a little bush here. But should have seen this like a few hours ago, guys. It, like all of this dirt was as like as green as all of this. But just weeds. There's weeds everywhere. Yeah. Well done. You stare into my eyes and it makes me wonder. Is she the one I'll take home? Um, I stare right back at yours and it makes me wonder. Why is he here? Alone? Maybe. Wait, guys, I'll be. Wait, you can come, come in and we'll, we'll order it. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. One sec.
All right, thank you for that, guys. It was also oh, just ordering dinner there, so I couldn't give away. I don't want to dox myself, basically. Um. Alright, what's it saying? Wait, uh, three, two, six, here. Wait, one. Ah! Fucking idiot. Right. Build that up. Oh, I'm excited, man. I've gone for this, um, like, breakfast burger or whatever. Yeah, I'm hyped, man. It's got friggin' hash browns and stuff in it. Should be good. Cheese string fries. That's where it's at. Yeah. Excited, man. And they do really good, like, coleslaw as well. Like, just um, purple. Probably purple coleslaw. Hmm. Good onion rings and all that. Treating ourselves. Definitely going to beat last night's dinner. Last night's dinner was, uh, yeah. I, I had this, like, pasta, like, just basic pasta thing, and it was tiny, and it was gone in seconds. See, I was so hungry after last night's stream. I think it was the main reason I ended the stream was because I was so hungry. I actually just went downstairs and, like, just binged and had a whole bag of popcorn ate the whole damn thing <laughs> what did I end up watching I end up watching a fil film um yeah you have a two time pain if you do it drunk that's it's cool that is cool you know what that means? You need to get drunk more often. <laughs> not really. No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's not good for you. Yeah. I don't drink like I used to. It's good. Because it's not good for you. Chain my mind. Pasta's underrated. I mean, pasta's cool. But, I mean, it's like freaking everywhere. There's... Is it, there's about 50 different types of pasta. Like, the pasta itself. They're just different shapes. Oh, you don't do that with other things. Like, bread doesn't come in 50 different shapes. Okay, why does pasta come in 50 different shapes? Rice, okay. Rice. Why don't they form that into all these different shapes? They don't. They don't. But for some reason, pastors are just like, hey, you know what? I'm a tube. You know what? I'm a little tube. You know what? I'm a, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a twisty boy. You know? I'm a shell. <laughs> Why? Why is pasta so many different shapes? You could say, oh, it's the texture. Well, doesn't it, it's, it, I don't know. It's the same bloody thing. So that bar's playing right now. Right. The overlap is not good enough with the... Um, yeah, that's an issue. There's uh, there's no overlap, and there's actually a gap in the sound playing. It's not it's not absolutely um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a clean loop. There's a break. It might be how I've cut the song up. 
it, that might just be it. Like it's probably not. Uh, yeah. If I go in here, does it? If I go in here now. See, now it's playing a different tune. This is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you're there, Jamie, but dude, it works. It works. I need to change the whole looping system though, so that there's like a bit of an overlap. Yeah. The They're just, they're just three different loops. Imagine what you could do if you had like layers as well. So when you're in this area, this area has this tune, but then has different layers, different instruments you can do. And then the same with this one here. Yeah, man. Open the bloody doors, close the flipping doors. Close the flipping doors. Right, I should, I should move with the train now. Yeah. It moves, it works. I'll see you later, Bob. Didn't like you anyway. And the train, actually, I don't, oh. Stop at the platform. Dude, let's fucking go. Mark one train. I'm digging it. It's, it's doing good. It's doing good. Mark one train. I'm happy with that. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. So the open doors trigger is not set up right. Yeah, flipping, flipping door trigger doesn't move. Right. Okay, we're good. We're good. This is good. Okay, so this, um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna retire this right here. So uh, retired as there is a one hundred millisecond sound gap between loop plays okay cool so we're on a different play now we want to do play sound of position yes oh let's do that open with audacity you have the audacity to make music right 3.1 is perfect. 3.1, my man. Let's do it. 3.1. So here. Wait. 3.1. Boom. Oh, and then I'm going to turn this one right here. Bar four. And it's going to be like, I don't have no bar four. You schlink. 
Okay, awesome. Uh, and then for the train, we want to do um, this guy. Train door trigger, we want to move you. Train door trigger, train door trigger. Train doll trigger. He's a train doll trigger. Right, train door. Let's link that up. Da, 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 da. No. Yep. Okay, that's done. Uh, doors don't actually open. So we got train door. And yeah, train door, train door, train door, train doors, train doors. Move, okay, door and train doors. Open the bloody doors. Oh. Scan equals zero. Oh. I won that before. No, I want to have that. Yeah, well, I need to have that. I need to have that there. But I also need to have it um, here. 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 There. There. All right, wicked. Okay, that's good. Why are you not bloody opening? For each door in train doors, yeah. Door, thread, door, move door. Okay, cool. So, move door, open. If open is true, set the door. Move to open position. Is position targeting there? Yeah, open position. The origin. It's correct. That's fine. That's good. Is this a brush model? Yes, it is. Is that a brush model? Yes, it is. Oh, these are brush models, man. Chew pasta tastes better than the rest too. Better than Twisty Boy. I think I like Twisty Boys more than the uh, the Chew Pasta. Yeah. I think so. Kodiak, how you doing, man? You're right. I quite like shells as well. But shells can be, I don't know. I feel like the flavor doesn't get around shells enough. Sometimes you get ones that are a bit, but that's kind of nice. Sure, I like shells. Okay. Open the party doors. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put a three there. It might be that it triggered and it didn't have enough time for this. Yeah, because. Bro, you. Yeah, doing good, man, doing good. Maybe. Maybe I lock players in and move them like a teleport type thing. So, yeah, I could do that. 
I mean, this... Uh, I'm going to put a weight fly there for now. That's uh, just to test it, though. See how that goes. But yeah, bottom line is, start with nothing. Start with from the bottom. Now we're here. Okay. We, we have a working train-ish. Okay. And we have a dynamic sound system thing ish and uh, we're about to we've improved the sound system we've improved the train we're about to check them out there's the two systems right there train system and sound system train system more of the train system more of the train system more of the train system and then we got the sound system here boom easy how many lines of code? It's 110 lines of code. 140 lines of code. Not bad, okay? Not bad at all. Take that any day. Say, so, copy that. Go into a new one. Paste. 147 lines of code. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was quick. Right, let's go check it out. Yeah, doing good, Kodiak. Yeah, dude, good. Um, I'm happy with the progress on this. We did something and it works. So I'm getting better at coding. Right, I'm checking out my dashboard right now because I edited a video this morning or last. Still processing. Last night's stream, first thing I did when I woke up this morning, I took this stream, okay, to this stream and I chopped it up because it was like five hours, yeah, five hours and 42 minutes long. So I chopped it up and made it like 40 minutes long I think um, so it has like all the best bits in it um, of the map attempt so yeah don't need that anymore don't need any of that anymore don't need any of that anymore douche don't need any of that cool but yeah I don't know why, but it still hasn't processed it. It's still processing. It's taken freaking ages. It's taking a sweet merry time. Hmm. You know on uh, Twitter, when you get like the messages like this, your fourth app heads to Gulag. Do they come out alive? What does that mean? Uh, I, 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 I don't get any suggestions. So I just type in like random ones. A. My fourth app for A. Do people, when you type in at, does it come up with like most recent or the most talked to people or something? Or am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something because I see, I see these comments on Twitter, like quite often, and I have no bloody clue like how people do that, like because nothing comes up when I put in an app. Do you get like most talked to people, or not? Like what? What's going on? What is going on? Oh, that didn't work very well. Let me run that back. Yeah. Don't bloody know. <sighs> okay. Hmm. <laughs>
Right. Kids arguing on ZGC. It's not the place for it. Okay. Chill your beans. Okay, come on. What you got for me, Matt? We're not playing Viking Tower. I just haven't updated the splash screen yet. Okay. Bar one. Oh, yeah. Turn off the audio. Yeah, I reckon this will work. We just need to have a um needs to have a better like like cuz I've just chopped a song my like randomly. I reckon it's messing up. But I reckon if we get like actual exported specific bars from JME and then set those up with the right times, I reckon it will it will loop nicely. But yeah, the looping function works. So So this is a, a music looping system. Yeah, so well, parts of it is a test map. We've got these different bars. So as I go on this tile, it changes the music. It actually worked, it worked better with the, uh, with the last one. I'm gonna try setting the time to 3.15 like that and just running that because I reckon I reckon that will work even better but yeah I'll test that out and it's the 20th of a second difference there so the sounds that JME uh, exports will have to be like specific to like the precise 10th of a second but yeah this is a test map for the London map yeah so this is the actual London map um, and I'm just testing bits in it so we're building up, uh, we're building up the train station over there. We're building up uh, the Meridian Walk and the park here, and then I'm just testing a train here because why not, you know? Um, and then I'm also testing the the custom dynamic sound thing. But yeah, we got the train pretty much working. Uh, what I want to do is probably stick a. Um, Yeah, just stick this here right now so can jump over this nice and easily. Okay. Yeah. I know there's a wall there, but put that there. That'd be good. Right. Let's go test it out. Let's go check it out. So I've got to check the doors next. See if the doors, um, what they're saying, and then with the sound, I'm pretty happy with what we've done today with this, with this stream. It's very good. We've done a good job. I'm happy with it, man. But yeah. Um, yeah, so we wrote all this code today, and it's basically the uh, the train system and the sound system. It's coming home. Oh, football's coming home. It's coming home. Let's have a look. Football. What's the score? I haven't, I haven't been following it. Is it finished? We got the results. Oh, one nil. Hey, let's go.
No, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. All right, where are you? Where are you, you slag? Come here. Come here. Come here. Save that. No. Right. Build. Actually, compile. Build. Let's freaking go. 22 minutes in. Oh, okay. Why did it? I typed in results and it came up with the results. Wait, okay. So, um, can you watch it live? Live football game. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's got to be on YouTube, right? England versus Ukraine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Filters live. Uh, here. Yes, after this match, yellows are gone. Wait, what? Is it actually live right now? Like the actual, is it? Okay. I want to see, I want to see the camera. I want to actually see. Fried too much in this Indian team shot. Why, why, well, no one's actually showing it. Audio commentary. Oh, sorry. The tempo of the game down. Yeah, no one actually shows the game. Is it? Wait. There's someone's like living room. Living room TV here. This is the best quality I can find of the, of the game. That's it. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. This video is unavailable. He got, he got banned live just then. Um, right. So yeah, I'm not going to, I'm going to put the foot one. If I'm going to get banned for, for playing it. We losing. We losing. We're winning. We're winning, okay? Do you know what? I'm going to put it on the screen. For the for the next 10 minutes that I'm live. Okay, this is for you guys. Um, da -da 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 -da. go crop and okay. get a strike hey i don't think you can get a strike for having the result on the screen unless you're talking about the yeah i gotta change that it's it's in between it's going to be 3.2 then let's do 3.2 right so uh uh yeah let's close this down build that let's do it If I refresh, we're still I think it's live. It says watch live there, but Yeah. I think that will get updated. It's just the score. Yeah. I think we're fine with that. Should be fine with that. Um, I could do 
this whole thing. Right, it's ready. Let's go. Let's test this out. It refreshes live. Okay. Nice. We're winning. We're winning. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I'm going to close this map down there. But yeah, once again, really happy with the progress. At, from absolute nothing, uh, we have coded the, the part of the, the train. Um, and also, yeah, learned a bit from Simba about the vehicle path. Shit. And um, yeah, we know who to go to. Colin, if we need any help. So. Yeah, man. Misfits, how we doing? What's up? Also, I, 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 XL, hello, how you doing? I didn't say hello. Jake, I don't think I said hello either, but how you doing, Jake? What's up? Everyone else, what's up? Welcome. But yeah, today we've uh, started making the train system. I've also started making the sound system. So the idea of the sound system is have all these different, like, pockets around the map that change the music that you're playing. So as you're progressing through the game there's like a beat that changes and progress like and adds more layers to it yeah man wait for this stupid round start music to go so so one thing i will note with these sounds at the moment this is my shit job at just ripping up some music to to test the thing i have not got any music um from jamie yet but i will get it soon and then we'll actually be able to test it out and it'll be a lot cleaner um but yeah with my terrible job of just ripping up like a song uh it's going to be a bit botched but the idea is there that it switches so we're playing bar one at the moment and we go in here now it's going to play bar two How are we doing, Shanks? Welcome, man. So as you progress through the game, it'll get more and more crazy. And like some... So just imagine that like... You get to a certain area, like the train station, and then it gets like all crazy bass. It's like it's like changing into a whole new song, but yeah. Open the bloody doors and doesn't open the bloody doors. Right. This is why you don't go on a train track. You get hit by a train. I don't use fast restart yeah mate for real that's pretty shit how we doing shanks you're doing all right man welcome dude i'm gonna wrap it up here but thank you for joining me uh in fact you know what yeah wrap it up here great we've done done a great job with this um we got the 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 running over kill mechanic working and moving with the train the whole train skeleton all working um yeah, you've got a you've got a you've got a fix for it, mate. There's a third party um, app you can run that pr protects you, and also if you run it, run the game in offline mode, you're fine. So there's two ways to not have any problem. And then on top of that, if you're not a streamer and you're not a big streamer, they're probably not going to bother you with you anyway. The hackers only they're targeting streamers, like anyone that streams Black Ops Three as like one of their main contents on the channel, or just happens to be a big streamer that happens to be playing Black Ops 3, then you're getting targeted. But if you ain't none of that, then you're fine. Then you say it's a legal mod. So so after I recorded that video, my friend that warned me about that mod actually said that, okay, no, it actually checks out, and that the people, 
this big people like big people using it and then the creator then got in touch with me on twitter and said hey you know you, you you're not likely to get banned all this that, that and the other so i um i haven't used it myself yet but i haven't had to like play co-op while streaming yet so um yeah i will do though if i want to play co-op i'll use it but yeah it's uh i i am like vouching for it now so yeah man you can play it yeah you have no problem solo because you just play offline but yeah in terms of this map um happy with the progress uh draft one attempt number one and getting the train side putting that together it's doing it's doing well okay we got it in you can move take the train go to a station it works does what does what i wanted to do yeah it says what it does on the tin whatever um so next we can look at making a more interesting route and actually having it going through a tunnel um and also yeah uh getting those doors working and then with the sounds having some better sounds that are um a lot cleaner and a lot more specifically like specific specific to the like milliseconds of a of a specific like fraction of a second um and getting that loop working a little bit better and then also getting it work working with some of jamie's beats so um yeah thank you for joining me it's been wonderful and i will see you guys on the next one i don't know when i'm next streaming maybe later maybe tomorrow maybe never again no, I'll, I'll be back monday uh wednesday friday are my guaranteed streams uh starting between 5 and 6 p.m so uh yeah i'll see you then but i uh i'll be starting yeah, you should start at like 5.30 at the moment. So I'm being starting at 5.30. But I might be streaming tomorrow. Um, what am I doing tomorrow? Can't remember. I thought I had, I think I have something planned, but I can't remember right now. So if you see me, you see me. If you don't, don't see me, then I'll see you Monday. But should be tomorrow. Um, and probably pick pick up where we left off. All right. Um, B3. Uh, made for real. There's... So there's loads of websites you can use to buy like keys for it. Yeah, GTA. You probably get it cheaper there. But yeah, man. Like GTA, GTA is probably like sixteen quid or something instead of like forty. But yeah, have a look. Have a look around. CD keys, GTA, whatever. Peace. Take it easy, mate. For real, Colin. Thank you so much, Jake, Shanks, Kodiak, Steph. Everyone watching, see you on the next one.